In the last 10 or 15 years, the Republic of Korea has, come, has become self-sufficient in virtually all of its land weapon systems. This ranges from the K-1 and K-2 main battle tanks to this. This is the K-9 Thunder. This is a 155mm, 52 caliber self-propelled artillery system. And the Republic of Korea was the first country to, in Asia to deploy such a system. It is fitted, as we said, with a 155-52 calibre barrel, which you can see here, and it's got a travel lock, so when it comes into fire position, that is released automatically. It's got a very high rate of fire, as it's got a semi-automatic ammunition handling system. In the turret bustle are the 155mm projectiles, and they are loaded into the ordnance automatically. The charges, which can be the old bag type or the more recent modular charges, can be placed in manually. The weapon, the breech is then closed and the weapon is then fired. This gives it a high rate of fire and enables shoot and scoop tactics to be used, which improves the survivability of platforms and counts counter battery fire. Um, in addition, if we look above the bow to the rear, you will see a muzzle velocity radar, and that feeds information into the onboard automatic computerized fire control system. This particular vehicle has done some trials in, in a European country and the first country to use it outside of Korea is Turkey and they manufacture a version for the Turkish land systems called Fatina. Um, in addition to this vehicle, there is a dedicated ammunition resupply vehicle called the K9. That comes behind the K9 and feeds fused projectiles and charges into the K9 so it can have a high rate of fire. It can fire a burst of three rounds very rapidly and can also carry a mop around simultaneous impact in which the gun fires at different elevations so all the rounds land on the target at the same time for maximum effect. So this is the first time this particular weapon system has come to Paris and it just shows how the Republic of Korea is now expanding into the export market of its land systems having met its own local requirements.